Hello everybody, this is Hammer Striker here. Today I've got the Walther PDP F series. This is the 3.5 chambered 9mm. Please don't forget to check out our website. Go to our affiliates page. You'll find discount codes for things like Mantis Axe and Core Belts. Link to that cool little bore light that we use for lighting up the barrels. Use those links, it will often save you money never will cost you any additional money and helps the channel. And please consider supporting the channel on Utreon where we can do some videos that we can no longer do on YouTube. This is the latest in the PDP series. This one is roughly the equivalent of a PDP compact and they're marketing it to women. So that's where the F and the F series comes from. It's actually even on their page. I'm not so sure that was the best marketing direction to go with it really what this should be marketed towards is people that have smaller hands whether they're men or women kind of really doesn't matter but if you've got smaller hands this gun has some optimizations to help you with that it's got about a quarter inch shorter trigger reach so from the back to the front to the trigger is a little bit shorter the grip surface circumference is shorter and a lot of the contours are gone making the grip quite a bit flatter so for example the grip on this is 5.5 inches in circumference versus 5.8 on the regular one. And the trigger reach on this is 2.56 instead of 2.76. Now those aren't big differences, but if you have smaller hands or shorter fingers, that can make a big difference in you being able to comfortably hold this, get your finger in the right position, and pull tight groups. So whether you're a man or a woman, if you're kind of frustrated with things like Glocks and XDMs in the current PDP series, and finding something that fits your hand well, this would be something that you would look at. So given that, what else is unique about it? Well, from here up, it's a Walther PDP. It's got the same basic slide. This particular one being a 3.5 inch barrel has two Picatinny rail slots. Trigger guards are roughly the same. In fact, the trigger guard, this part of the trigger guard is pretty much the same as a PDP. So in most cases, this should fit most regular PDP holsters. The difference is back here, as far as that trigger reach, and that's not going to affect most holsters. You may find some holsters that grip it in a, in a weird way that make a difference. But what you can see is, at least, of course, you don't know how long my fingers are, but you can see that I'm reaching all the way out to the trigger guard on this one. And if I pick up the regular PDP, my finger comes short of the trigger guard. So that kind of gives you an idea of the difference between the two of these. One thing I did find with this is it functioned just as well as any other PDP, it, or even the PPQ. From round one to the last round we fired, the thing just worked. What I did find, though, is I have larger size hands, and Hammer has even larger hands. And for me, this gun's actually too small. It was, it was difficult for me to get my finger in the right position without kind of bowing out. And when I brought my support hand in, it tended to interfere with the trigger finger. So if you've got average or maybe going on large to very large hands, this isn't going to be the gun for you. Even with the adjustable back straps, you're going to find it's going to be too small. But on the flip side, people that have smaller hands will end up having this kind of a problem with the trigger, not being able to get their finger fully on the trigger. And that's what this really solves. A few of the things you'll notice that are different is the back straps. This comes with two back straps, but they're flatter. So they have a little bit of a hump, but it's kind of almost, you could draw kind of a straight angle coming down. And even on the medium one here, versus looking at something like the regular PDP that has a very defined palm swell. There's a big hump here at the bottom. So the other thing that's different is you see all these little humps and contours on the regular PDP frame. If I kind of told it, hold it this way, you can kind of see it. And those are present all the way around it, and they've got even kind of a bulge at the back and a hump there. None of that is present on the F-Series. So that's how they actually were able to make the grip smaller without having to change magazines or anything else. As far as magazines go, any PDP mag of the equivalent frame size or larger will work. So when I took it to the range, I took the two mags that came with it. It comes with two 15-round mags, and there is a 10-round variant available. But I also took just two regular PDP mags from this 4-inch compact, and they worked flawlessly. So it's, there is a lot of magazine interchangeability, at least within the PDP mags. It has all the other same features that a regular PDP has as far as ambi slide, stop, slide, release. This one is optics ready, and it also has a reversible magazine catch. 
So you're not giving up anything going to this. The sights on this are actually quite nice. They're really easy to see, three dot, adjustable rear sight. It's height and windage adjustable on the rear. And both sights are dovetailed so that you can reply. I'm sorry, the front side isn't dovetailed. There's a screw underneath, but it is replaceable. And the rear side is dovetailed. And you'll notice that the optics cut out and this is not part of the rear sight. So you can put an optic on it and you don't give up your rear sight. And there's, this one was on a promotion where they're giving away an optic with it. So I've got an optic coming that I'll be doing a follow-up video when the optic gets here. But most of the available optics are, will fit on this. The same disadvantage you have with the PDP though, you have to fill out for a plate. So you have to pick your optic, fill out for the plate. You have to put the serial number of the gun in when you order the plate and wait for it. So unlike a lot of the guns that are coming out where the plates come with it, I kind of like where they come with the plates in some of the other guns, even if it adds a little bit to the cost because that for doesn't force you to wait till the gun gets here so that you can fill out for the plate. You can buy the plates, but at the same time, a lot of them are coming with them. One thing that you might want to note on this is there's a pattern underneath here. So if you take this plate off, there's a kind of a, a layout in here and there's a version one and a version two of that layout. So it's important when you fill out for the plate that you check to see which version you've got. Surprisingly, they don't just auto detect that from the serial number. So this one, I had to take the two screws off, pull the plate off, look at it. And there's a picture on their website that shows you the two patterns, but the plates are not interchangeable. That's kind of a bit of a negative, but I would imagine most all of them now are gonna start coming out with the, the newer version, the version two. So chances are pretty good if you're buying one brand new in the store, it's probably going to be a version two, but check it before you order or you don't, you know, or you might get an unpleasant surprise. Dimensionally, it's 6.5 inches front to back. It's 5.4 inches tall with the flush magazine in it. It's 1.34 inches thick. So the PDP series as a whole is a little on the thicker side. And of course the grip is, is smaller and it weighs 20 3.3 ounces with an empty magazine just like you see it here. Right now these are available in two variants. The 4 inch like you see here, or I'm sorry, the 3.5 like you see here and a 4 inch. It's just a half inch longer. It would be roughly equivalent to this PDP compact. And there is not a subcompact available yet. So this is the smallest PDP F series that's currently available. I would imagine that they would eventually come out with a PDP subcompact and hopefully an F-series subcompact that would look similar to this PPQ subcompact. But right now they don't exist. And this is as small as it gets right now. But I would say that if they were to come out with that, it'd probably be fairly popular because a lot of the people that have smaller hands are probably having problems finding some of the subcompacts that fit well. And this layout would be perfect for that. This has all of the same safeties that the other Walthers have. It has the inertial toggle on the trigger. It has the internal piston style drop safety. And one note, you can see on the frame, this one says F series. And if you look at a regular PDP, it'll usually say the size like compact. So you can look at the frame on these if you can't immediately tell from the grip to determine whether you're looking at an F series or whether you're looking at a regular PDP. And that's kind of helpful. I like it when the manufacturers actually stamp something on the frame that makes it easy to determine. That was one of the issues I saw with the P320. Sometimes it was difficult to figure out which one you had, which frame length combination you had just by looking at it. It is a nice looking gun from an ergonomic standpoint, a layout standpoint. It's, it looks nice. Now the PPQ had more of a rounded top slide, kind of a more pointy slide that made it look a little bit thinner. And this is a little more on the blocky side like some of the, many of the others, but that's really just so they can enable the optics cuts. With that sharp, sharp kind of a contour at the top, it made it difficult to make the PPQ optics ready. So I get why they made the slide a little blockier because optics has really become a popular thing. One of the things you might be wondering is, did they ruin the trigger? So let's find out. Minimal take up. I'm on a defined wall, about a 5.6 pound, very crisp, very short break. Nice short reset, you're right on the wall, and then that same short crisp break. So the answer is no. This is still a PDP trigger, evolution of the PDPQ trigger, and they did not ruin the trigger. It's a very nice trigger, very easy to use. The only difficulty I had with shooting this well was finding a grip that would work for me, getting my support hand out of the way of my trigger finger and things like that. 
And that's a problem that somebody who is buying this gun for the feature of having the smaller grip, they're not going to have that problem. Somebody with larger hands trying to use this gun is going to have a little trouble kind of get it to work. But that's not the target audience for this. If you've got average or larger hands, you're going to be looking at the regular PDP. So I don't see people who are buying this gun because of what it is having that same problem. Once I figured out how to do that, it pulls tights group. It has all the same mechanical accuracy as any others. I'm going to show you the internals. So of course I'm going to clear it, pull the trigger, pull the slide back just a hair, and separate the two points. So on the frame, and by the way, these little tabs are what I pulled down to release the slide. You see that? And the reason you pull the slide back a little bit is to take the tension off them. It's really easy to do. Inside, it's well constructed, nice robust front rails and nice nice kind of smaller but still solid rear rails. Simple fire control group, not a lot going on in there. And then here's the protrusion for the drop safety. This disengages the drop safety piston. So overall, like you would expect from Walther, it's well constructed, well machined, and well done. If we move over here to the slide, dual recoil spring. And this does have a modified recoil system to help with the recoil a little bit and make the slide about 20% lighter than a regular PDP. It's not a light rack like some of the others you're seeing coming out, but it's definitely lighter. It's noticeable. 3.5 inch barrel, really nice polished feed ramp. Everything is well machined on it. Let me get my light in there. Like the other PDPs, and the PPQs, it's polygonal rifling. Well machined, smooth. You're going to see a few reflections from the studio lighting, like that right there is a reflection from the studio lighting. It's not a defect in the barrel. You're really not going to find defects in these generally. They're well machined and well done. The internal of the slide, here's the drop safety plunger up here, portions of the fire control group, and there's a bunch of cutouts in here for lightening to reduce the weight of the slide to make it function correctly. But everything in here is well machined and well done. Putting it back together is as easy as taking it apart. Drop the barrel back in. The captive recoil spring makes it real easy. Slightly different design of the recoil spring than on the regular PDP, which is also captive, but it's more of a single body instead of the dual component. And then just line it up on this frame, and you're back in business. And if you if you got it turned facing you, I kind of have it turned away from me for the camera, so I didn't line it up properly on the first try. That's not something you're going to have a problem with if you're doing it where you're looking at it, not trying to show somebody else. Overall, the entire PPQ PDP series, and including the F series, are easy to live with, easy to maintain, easy to take care of and overall well-constructed guns. They have an MSRP of $699, but you're, you can find them a little bit less than that. And at the moment, with that promotion going, you can actually get a, an optic to go with this. Let me line them up on the table so that you can get an idea of the relative size. I'm going to put the PDP at the back because it's the largest. Stick a magazine in this, the PDP, the regular PDP, and then the F-Series. And I'm going to line them up beaver tail to beaver tail. And then I'll bring in the PPQ subcompact, which of course is going to be smaller because it's a subcompact. But one thing you'll notice when I line the, the regular PDP, which is at the back here, and the F-Series, you can see that the trigger is further back on the F-Series. This whole section is moved back a little bit, and that's part of the shorter trigger reach. And then, of course, if they do come out with a subcompact, you'll have a shorter grip. But when you look at the contour, this happens to be PPQ that has different contour, but you can see how these various contours and similar contours on the PDP, the regular PDP, would add grip width and thickness that they got rid of to get you that shorter grip that you're, that you're looking for. So overall, the big difference really is that this one has a, a shorter trigger reach and a thinner grip for people with smaller hands. Beyond that, please give us, if you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up, share, subscribe, check the, click that bell to get notified if you do. Check us out on Patreon, Rumble, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and please consider supporting the channel on Utreon, where again we can do some videos that we're no longer able to do on YouTube. Thank you.